Hello my friends, thank you for watching. I just want to get on here and very quickly um, tell you what's been happening with the little rig, give you some updates on repairs and broken things and what's going in on the uh, month of May. So that's all part of my um, pledge to you guys to keep the content coming and keep you up to date with what's happening with the car. So, so just be very short and sweet, a quick rundown of what's coming up in the month of May. Right, so as most of you probably know by now, I broke my rear diff. This is the crown wheel out of the rear diff. So you can see uh, we've got a few broken teeth here, a few broken teeth here. Um, we did get that repaired um, with an unmatched crown wheel uh, because we had a lot of trouble finding uh, a new crown wheel and pinion to go in. So we took a gamble to get me to a, a big important event that was happening. Unfortunately, um, the rear diff did break again, which we always knew was going to happen. We just hoped um, that it was going to last more than a few days. Uh, however, it did break in about three or four days, um, but that's okay. That's what happens. Uh, probably teach me a lesson for pushing the car a little bit hard when it wasn't at 100%. So now why the car is out of action, waiting for new parts to come, there's a few exciting things which we're going to do at the same time. I just want to tell you about those. The first thing is um, airbags. I have rear airbags coming. Um, they are airbags that suit a Vitara rear. I'm going to use them in the Jimny. They're spring helpers, so they sit inside the springs in the rear. And that is for when I'm going camping and I have the canopy on with the rooftop tent, fully loaded fridge, all my gear. Um, I can have those airbags set up to give me a comfortable ride height and uh, that way I'm not sitting so far back on my butt. Very excited to get those in. Um, they are only made for a two inch lift, so we'll have to make some custom spaces to sit top and bottom of those airbags. But if everything goes to plan, I should still be able to get that full four link suspension uh, flex out of the rear, but have these airbags in as well um, so that when I really need them, I've got them and I can have a nice comfortable ride when I'm fully loaded up. The, uh, the next exciting thing that's happening is I have a nice big battery going in the Jimny. Now my stock Jimny battery has lasted four years, even with all the winching and the lights I've had running. It's been really good, um, but it's time to upgrade. And we're putting in um, a battery that's double the amp hours, double the cranking power. It's, it's now running a big rear winch, big front winch, and all the lights, water pump, all the accessories that have come with the new chop. Um, so it, it's going to be a much better um, purpose battery for what I've got going on. So that involved pulling uh, everything out, making a new custom battery tray, which is currently at the laser cutters. As soon as that comes back from the laser cutters, which should be next week, um, we'll test fit that and get it all finalized. And uh, yeah, very excited to get a nice big battery in the car, have all the accessories rewired back on and know that the battery is um, taking care of that and not putting too much load um, on the stock battery. Um, with the diffs, I haven't just ordered a replacement rear diff. I've ordered crown and pinion replacements for the rear and the front. And the reason I did that is I have gone with the auto front and rear crown and pinion. So I have a manual. Um, the, the manual is a 4.1 ratio. The autos are a 4.3. So I've ordered 4.3s to replace both, and that is going to give me better reductions when I'm driving. So as many of you know, I currently have um, reduction gears in the transfer case. That's about 87% low range, 17% high range. By going to 4.3 auto diffs, that's going to give me um, further reduction again. And it should hopefully sit me somewhere around 95% um, around in low range and about 23% in high range which would be much better suited for 33-inch tyres. My current setup is, in my opinion, perfect for 31s and really good for 32s, just lacking a little bit for 33s. So with these new um, 4.3 ratios in the front and rear diffs, that should set me up beautifully uh, running those 33s. So just to summar up, summarise, month of May, we've got the front and rear diffs going in um, with the new reductions. Cannot wait for that. It'll be much better off-road. New battery going in. It's going to be a far better battery to handle the front and rear winch in particular. 
and the airbags for when I'm carrying all that weight to the rear um, canopy and rooftop tent. Much better ride. So three very exciting upgrades happening in the month of May while the car's off the road. Hopefully I'm up and running by about the 26th of May uh, to take it out for a bit of a spin. And uh, yeah, just all excellent upgrades, which are only going to make the car better all round. And I can't wait to show you guys those once they're done. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you're having a good day. See ya.